unless we increase the consumer confidence. Okay, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi again scoffing at economic growth and job growth and getting it wrong again, notably on consumer confidence. Now, let's go through the numbers. Wages growing nearly 3% year over year. year. Joblessness at an 18-year lo low. And look at this, consumer confidence at an 18-year high. America's wealth surpassing $100 trillion. There's more, 300,000 manufacturing jobs created since Trump was elected. You may see 4% growth the next time that number is reported, July 27th. Let's bring in Kadena Group President. President Gary B. Smith, and look who else is here, owner of the company, the stock swoosh, Melissa Armo. Uh, what do you think, Gary B.? I mean, Nancy Pelosi's path to getting the House speakership again is permanent outrage at everything Trump. I, I respect her in one, in, in, in one regard. She sticks the message. <laughs> like, she just, <laughs> Trump cannot do anything right, and she sticks to it. <laughs> but you know what? Here's, here's the funny thing. You talked about the metrics. People evaluate their their own economic goodwill based on, on three prongs. Do they have a job? Are they making money? Is their house, house worth anything? Yes, yes, and yes right now, more so a, a lot than when Obama was in office. I don't know what metrics she would like at this point. Yeah, you know, Melissa, it's been said that the Democrats' policy has been like a Seinfeld episode where nothing is happening. I mean, these are really opportunistic attacks and off-base. I mean, the Democrats got all the open you know, fire hydrant spending they wanted under Obama, right? And I mean, look at the growth there. It, it just makes no sense. I mean, I really think people that truly want the, the Democrat Party to be in charge again go to bed praying every night that she will just retire. I mean, she says things that don't even make sense. Even if you don't follow politics, even if you're just a regular person, you get up every day and go to your job and maybe watch the news once a week on a weekend, you say, this doesn't, lady doesn't make any sense. How can she take something that's so positive and make it negative? And just don't forget this. People are saving money in their taxes. Even if they're not making more, even if wages haven't ri risen, they're seeing more money yeah. in their paycheck because they're paying less in taxes, which has been since January. So people, wages, wages, it'll take time for wages to go up. That's a process. It's, it's sort, not going to happen It's overnight. sort of like, who do you believe, me or your lying eyes? Now, we know Nancy Pelosi has been pushing aside the up-and-coming Democrat moderates as the party, Democrat Party has been yanked to the left by Bernie Sanders, who now says, Gary B, his socialist ideas are winning. Let's listen. The truth of the matter is what we have been focusing on is grassroots activism, and that is ex doing extremely well. We have well, been why focusing the on the need more? for Oh, my God, they're winning all over the country. Well, but you I had a lot of guys lose, too. Though, I don't even think you're at 500. Our ideas are winning, and at the grassroots level, more and more people are getting involved. All right. He, he didn't talk about job growth. You noticed that there? Yeah. He didn't say anything about job growth policies. It's almost like San Bernie Sanders' stubbornness has drained him and the Democrats of common sense about what works. Well, it, it's some delusional fantasy. It's like people now are saying, yes, the economy is good. They're, they're willing to say that. But Obama set the table. Trump has done everything opposite yeah, but, of, of Obama. And, and but, that gets, but Obama did get us out of the downturn, right, with a lot we, of government spending and Fed health. Fed I, health. I view those eight years, uh, Liz, as the great malaise. Remember, what, were, what was the GDP growing? Barely 2% a yeah, year, 1% one, one a year. Uh, uh, it, it was really just horrible, not horrible times. He got us out of the worst of it. But per Sanders' point, again, it's like Pelosi. What socialist ideas exactly are you talking about? About that, work. that work. I, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing work, any right? that are, that are it, The message doesn't work. Their message is essentially take from the rich and give to the poor. That's it. That's all they got. That's the only message and that they have, you, and it doesn't get votes. And Melissa, can you explain to the viewer how socialist aspects are already in this capitalist economy? Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, right, Gary B? Yeah, exactly. All the, all the programs that are broke or going to be broke at some point are, are certainly active. Well, originally yeah, those ahead. programs were set up way back in, in FDR, but they were, I don't think those those programs were meant to be and permanent. Obviously. They were meant to be right, temporary. But now people have become to rely on them, and that's what Trump's trying to do. Trump's trying to say, "Go out, get a job, because you're going to be better in the long okay. run if you work rather than getting the help from the programs." Even though some people need them, some people do still really need them. Can we put you on Bernie Sanders and Nancy Pelosi watch you too? Because you did a great <laughs> job there. Can you come back? Well, we'd have to be on every day. We'd have to be on every day, though. Maybe every hour. Maybe every hour, right? Well, we wouldn't mind to see you again. You guys are terrific. We hope you have a good. Good weekend, Gary. Yeah, you too. Like, Thank come you. back soon. We love having you on. Let's get to the story. Liberal Silicon Valley tech company Google again being.